fucking stupid we did. Mm. Like that. So here we are. Take much long enough to get there, but yeah. there you go. There you go. Right. And it's actually hot for a change. It is. Today's review, Maverick's Cow. Well, this is actually all standard as, they come, the as they come out of the box. Um, Which they are an RTR car, aren't they? They are an RTR car. Actually, you actually can't find them on eBay anymore. Yeah, no? I think they've been discontinued. Oh, um, really? Yeah, I picked this one up second hand for 80 quid. 80 brand new. 80 pounds, brand new, been run once, ready to run, battery, the lot. Was that shop or private? Um, no, that's private. A um, guy was getting rid of it. And just wanted to take quick for it. Mind you, they're not much more new, are they? No, I think about hundred pound new. Where did it run? Um, on the way. Like that. Yeah, around that. Uh, but you can't seem to get them anymore. You can get all the parts for them, but an Good. actual Maverick Scout. We'd have to look into that. Or if you can't seem to get. Us, but can you yeah, tell us? Uh, I can't tell you at the moment. No, I'm wondering if our viewers can tell us. Uh, you might be able to tell us. I know maybe the guys from um, Scout, Scout Works. Works. I'll be able to tell you. Scout works. Yeah. Scout works. Can't Big shout that. out to them guys. We'll tell you why in a minute. Um, right. Let's get rid of the shell. Right. So here we are. I'll switch it off now. So I noticed straight away uh, an obvious thing. You've taken the springs off. Yeah, the springs are yeah. gone. The springs are gone. We've got, um, as I said, it's all standard Maverick Scout running gear. Which actually runs like those. What yeah. standard? Yeah. Oh. Which I thought was quite surprising. Um, hence the light bulb looking too. Otherwise it'd be a bit <laughs> ball of fire. Um, there he is. Oh, there we go. Standard scout motor, standard scout pinion and it's all standard. I haven't touched this car apart from whipping the springs off. Um, because I wanted because <laughs> I wanted droopy droopy. Bit of droopy droopy. That that is that because of the the body shell? Is that the design you wanted? Yes. You didn't want it hot? Yeah, no, I wanted it droops it up. your style. It's my style. It's your style. My style, baby. But I've also restricted it um, from sitting too low. Because with that original shell on, um, it was rubbing on the wheel arches. Mm. So what I've done is handed this. The Maverick Scout wheels come pre-weighted with a strip oh, yeah. of zinc. Okay. You know? yep. So I chopped zinc out and I wrapped it round bottoms oh, of the suspension yeah. shafts right. keeps it low so keeps it, low. it stops it from going too low and rubbing on the shell which is restricted the shock movement and it yeah, also still adds get, a bit of weight you, you still, still get all that and I still get let's come out here for that still get look at the twist on that I still get all that play look which is and that's without a twist in the front yeah all that play so if you use the twist the front twist that it's like a it's like Slinky. Yeah. Everyone loves a Slinky. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that again. Don't slinky, do that again. Slinky. Cut the go language. Slinky, Cut go. the language, but twat. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so there it is. So come on then. Come on. 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 Come
Can you tell us, tell us why you've gone for such a, a strange looking shell? Strange I'm sure only a shell. few people know. Well, we'll get back no, to the actual no, car in a minute. Brad's, Brad's not too sure about the shell, he doesn't no, like it at all. He no, doesn't like it, does he? Well, as you can see, inspired by Mad Max. Yeah. Post apocalyptic, you know, like the rubber stiff bumpers on the front. Came in handy when we went out, didn't it? Yes. I managed to push you over. Again, because you're bad driving. And, uh, well, I pushed Carl over because he fell over, not my bad driving. Yeah, no, I'm supposed I'm to be good driving. I'm supposed to be good I've got, um, I thought, right, originally, that these Can't massive wheels on the back. Slow team, you <laughs> <laughs> These wheels were off my sender. Oh, is that the squishy wishy ones? Yeah, they're the we, squishy uh, wishy ones off your sender. Episode 2. Yeah, that was. Because um, ah. the squishy wishy ones didn't fit with the. Uh, yeah, because when you That's done the... That's getting grief rubbing on the new yeah, yeah, the yes new, version yeah, of your yeah. Chevy or whatever. When you were doing the Chevy, Chevy. Yeah, the yeah. competition, it kept... Um, yeah, I said so you didn't ask you were going to rip wheels up. It's got the standard wheels back on it now, and it goes like a trooper. Yes. Um, these are, on the front, are some wheels I bought for my sawback, which were their yeah, 102s, right. and they were a bit too big to fit on the sawback, because I've gone proper scale with the sawback. Um, they've got frames in. I thought that wasn't going to work. Massive tyres on, on the back little ones in the front but surprisingly enough, I was wrong it goes with your, I your was wrong. strange design though that you've got going it on, goes with a strange design and it goes over absolutely but everything. if any of our viewers have seen the other videos um, they'll know how well that went yeah it went really well um, there's one big big issue with this car that's steering steering it's shite um, there are modifications there are modifications <laughs> yeah um, Scout Works the lovely guys they are Gave me a little tip to get a bit more out of it. Um, when these come standard, will it pick up? Can I have a bit of light, Carl? Oh, yeah, yeah. Or? Oh, is it my cue? Because I don't know nothing about these two cars tonight. That's why I'm very quiet tonight. Um, You're in the dark. I'm in the, yeah, You're in the dark. I have no idea what I'm right, looking so at. Right, so we have about. some bright, yeah, here we go. Right, so these here, um, when they come standard, they have like a little knobbly bit yeah. poking out, and it actually restricts your turn to about there. Oh, okay. So they said grind that off and you'll get that I, much more turn. I know nothing about this car. Was that was that a strengthening? Was that to strengthen that, that arm? Possibly, but as you know, our cars get absolutely abused and it hasn't broken or anything. Um, the aeroplanes. It's an easy jet. Yeah, directly under the flight path. <laughs> Um, and the plastic so cups, honest, you, can, you can sink these and you'll get more turning. But I know a lot of the guys on Scoutworks have said if you put the axle hubs and um, alloy, knuckles. alloy knuckles on, you'll get double the amount of steering. Is that, is that because the knuckle's longer? I believe so, yeah. I haven't actually looked into it yet, but what I'm actually going to try and do is use our very f most favourite car ever, the Viterra Sender. Ah. I'll see if I can fit those knuckles on that. Because then they'll have a ridiculous we know they work turn. really well. And they work really, really well. Um, it's Instead of all these modifications, can you use a different servo saver? I could try it. I haven't bothered trying it yet. Because um, um, there, there there's a few other things you could try to get that to stick. Me and oh, you yeah, have gone through this never-ending battle for ages with different yeah, cars. With different cars with people with different suggestions on our page and that. servo savers. Um, yeah, it does. Yeah, it, yeah. It, most of the trucks do require a higher torque servo, but it does come down to modifying the hubs to yeah, get. Yeah. For instance, do you know my yeah. um, my sender's got that? Was it 25 kg? Was it 25? Was it 25 kg? Is it 25? 25 kilo. 25 kilo. Kilo. Yeah. No, it's 20. Or is it 20? 20 kilo servo. Would that would that steer oh. that more? Or is it because because no, those hubs I, I are think limited? It's just those hubs are limited compared to. Um, my truck's in the car. Your truck's in the car. <laughs> Alright, well, compared to another truck, they've probably got like double the amount of turn. Right. I mean, that looks. Well, See, that, that looks, looks a lot. That looks a lot there, but when it's running, it's just not. It's not pulling. I think pulling more with the, I think with the scouts, it comes um, more down to not having a high torque servo as standard. Though. Yeah, it's not. It's I mean, the main yeah, letdown. It, this is all standard stuff still. Um, I haven't done. So, with a few modifications, this. that will. Uh, it will be a nut. It will be good. It's, um, well, it's a good truck anyway, from what I've heard. Yeah, I mean, I've had to weight it down. Um, I took the shocks off. There was a lot of torque twists to start off with. Um, it'd drive along and sit yeah, like that. Yeah, my, my actual um, um, SC10 used to do that. Though. I think it's just that design of the chassis and all that. Yes. It's just the way they go. So it's almost, 
it clears. It's, it's you just shame. preload it one it's side, like you've shame. done on your your assembly. So you just preload yeah. one side. So all these all the trucks must have some sort of torque twist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, the assembly's definitely got it. Apart from Jalandi, obviously, because Jalandi's has just built well, the nuts. Well, because he broke that. Yeah, that don't do nothing at the minute. <laughs> <laughs> Dave. So uh, yeah. Well, also, before um, one problem is if you do buy one of these. Um, there is lots of reproduction ones of these that are about on eBay. They're basically a rebranded Scout from Hong Kong or China. It's a Scout, but it's got a new name on it. <laughs> None of this is um, greased or oiled. So uh, if you, so if you do get one, apart. take it apart, grease it up. Not good running. We like a bit of grease, folks. You like grease, I like lube. You know, we're all we're all over it. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I mean, I, the drive shaft seems to be alright. Go and get it done. Yeah, yeah, why not? Brace yourself, I'm going in. I've, I've not looked at one of these as in much detail as what we're doing tonight. There is nothing to it. There's four it's, wheels, there's a yeah, chassis, there's a few links. It's, it's really, really, you wouldn't even need any instruction manual no, to take the thing apart. It's a really it's nice little truck. Um, the motor's pretty good. It's pretty talky. The only thing I don't like about that motor being there is if you wanted to go through some deep water or mud, I can imagine that they're technically not that sort of rig though. No, these they are, these are actual rock, rock, oh, actual actual rock, rock yeah. yeah. But what if you... I'd, you know what we're like, we live in England, it rains all the time. Yeah. The motors can actually run underwater though. Yeah, the no. brush motors are right underwater. Yeah. Okay. With obviously, again, the brush ones, most of them can be rebuilt. Or they're cheap enough to chuck away and grab a new one if you have to. But that's what stopped my Vatera working, by the way, people. Water. Water. Got in the receiver. No wrong with the car. What's water? Water. Sorry, water, water. 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 <laughs> water. When you Get, start talking, getting properly, lame, back lazy with my language. My wife I need to be, pronunciate. My wife will be very pleased. That I pronounce you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that's good for him. It really is. Brownie points. I'm proud of you. Thank you. <laughs> um, what is else is there? Other little mods um, that can be done. I haven't done yet because I haven't found of an issue. Is people uh, put these on the insides? Move them inside. They cut out the bit of plastic okay. on the bottom. Mount them inside. Does that so make they any don't, difference to the performance? Apparently, they don't catch as okay. much. I haven't had any issues with them catching yet. Because um, when we done our competition, we done our first round. There was the guys from Scoutworks here, and admittedly, they dominated the hill climb. There they was did. A lot, there's yeah. a lot of modifications on them. They dominated the hill climb. They had full steering, didn't they? They'd done. I think yeah. they'd done the old axle pub upgrades on the front. They didn't um, look like scouts though. Is that Almost yeah. like your original truck you had where you had like a million cars in one but his one worked. Yeah mine didn't. So yeah, yeah you've got a bit Yeah of I'm gonna that. find you the person that sold me that car. <laughs> I will find you. I will find you. <laughs> <laughs> very angry about that boy. Very, very angry. See the steam very coming angry. out of his so ears. What, yeah. what was on that truck we had um we had an axle gearbox, we had CCO one Tamiya drive shafts and I it's don't right. know mismatch, wasn't it? You might, they must have been saying it was actually made. I by was phoning up there. Axel. Ah, and the plastic roll cage was actually the Gmail I one, but that yeah, also that was didn't come about and play with as well. Uh, yeah, I was very, very disappointed with that purchase. It does go pretty well. Uh, I probably want to put a bit more weight in it, just hold it down a bit more. Uh, it was more so the front actually, wasn't it? Yeah, it just needs a bit more weight in the front to be honest with you. Um, I'm happy. That is apart from the steering. Um, if you want to go scale, if you buy a scout and you want to go scale, you can actually buy a feeble. I think it's about seventy odd quid. You can buy like a, um, it's like a proper scale chassis. Oh, is that um, that guy? Every, and then it was all the way along. Sort yeah, of yeah, yeah, yeah. It goes yeah. all the way. We'll find a link. Put it in. Because the actual, the it. actual chassis look like the outside of a car. Yeah, that's what it reminded yeah, yeah, me of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I thought they looked pretty smart, but, um, and it had hundreds of holes all over it for yeah. all different, so you can get really technical with these. Oh yeah, there's so much you can do with these, I mean I'm just, yeah, I'm just brushing the surface and, and they're still the, the, the cheaper one, works, they're still the works. cheaper one even to modify, even yeah. with a completely modified Scout, you're still looking at less monies compared to a, yeah, a modified S610 yeah, yeah. or Jalandi. Yeah, we'll, we'll stick a link <coughs> in Scout Works if you're interested in getting the guys scoop. got all the info. Um, they've got all that, there. that's where I've been going. To get this they're game. really helpful actually, um, nice guys. Yeah, yeah, because I was having trouble with Talk Twist and the guy on there said smooth them out, get the shocks as smooth as you can, just sanding them down a bit or boring the holes out a bit more. 
what she said. <laughs> boring going on. Boring the whole time. Oh, that's so nice. And so boring. So boring. Uh, can Sounds you good. um? Can you change? Can you upgrade drive shafts? Can you upgrade? Yeah, yeah. There's loads. Gearbox? There's metal drive shafts. There's, I, I there's guess metal shocks. Alley it's, everything. Yeah, you can alley everything. It's all on eBay and it's all pretty damn cheap as well. Yeah. But um, as it stands, it's a pretty sturdy truck. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it's um, a smart little truck, to be honest with you. Yeah, there is literally nothing to it. Nothing at all. And they're still, if you want to get one, they're still about 100 quid, even second hand. Well, you could probably pick them up for 80 quid on eBay. Yeah. Second hand, they're, they're brilliant little trucks. If you haven't got the budget to go for a Vitea or a Sender, get a scout. If you've only got 80 quid or something like that, or 100 pound. And remember, it doesn't have to look like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I, 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 I really I disagree believe, with you. I, I really disagree that. with that. Brad doesn't like it. It's different. If, right. If you're all fans of Mad Max and post-apocalyptic post cars, just call Brad a dickhead in the comment box below. Oh, come on. I wasted an hour of my life watching that shit on TV. <laughs> don't, don't even start. At least I've tried watching it. <laughs> he, gave it he gave it a go, bless him. He gave it a go. <laughs> Didn't like it either. That body shell was my mind. You either love it or you yeah, hate you it. Yeah, you either love it or you hate and it. And I love it. Yeah. I do love it. I like, it's good, it. I like a bit of rust. Yeah, look, like a bit of rust. It looks weird like me. Yeah, it's, just, it's not it's, bad, is it? It does yeah. almost remind me of your one side, um, uh, oh, side of facial hair. Yeah, apparently yeah. I can only grow hair on one side of my let's, face. Let's have a look. What we've got, we've got a bit there. A bit there. Yeah. Yeah, well. uh, yeah, there's not as much on that side. Or is it that side? But then look at these bad boys. I can't see where it goes. Oh, right yeah, yeah. It's, it, it's it, not it, just you, though, Carl. Look. They don't. I've, I've got some. Don't. Brothers from another mother. Hey, hey, hey. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the today. He was actually so excited about having his eyebrows trim today. He didn't even ask, they just did, did it. They just did it. They didn't they didn't they didn't say, excuse me, sir, would you like your eyebrows uh that's, that's you know, trimmed when you go to a hairdresser and Brad was like, trim your eyebrows? Yeah, because he didn't know what he was saying and he went what are you doing? <laughs> Can you imagine him in the father? What are you doing? Lucky I didn't end up with half of one, yeah. <laughs> I'd Still. love to have been a fly on the wall. Yeah, I'd love to have yeah, been a fly on the wall. Yeah. yeah. Gotta um, remember that guys, if you want more detail on any of the trucks we review, you know, we can when we need to down. repair them and we need to get into them if people want to yeah, see we'll, we'll be doing more in depth You need like to that. comment. You need to put your, your um comments and give us feedback to let us know what you yeah. want to see more of or less of and we'll try and do our best for you. I mean my one needs a repair, so if you want a camera set up while I'm repairing it next, by all means. I don't like building cars or trucks. So, <laughs> if you want to have a fun, you can watch me throw my tools around. Well, that's it. That's yeah. it. That's it. I'm going to find one of my. I'm going to strip one of my trucks, and we're going to get coal, rebuild it, and it's going to be called Twat in the Garage. <laughs> <laughs> I will be fuming by the end of the night. <laughs> I will be fuming. I will it. not enjoy that. We'll give him the instructions. We we'll, won't we'll be asked. <laughs> I can't read. <laughs> he won't use the instructions. I'll just sit there. That picture don't look right. <laughs> All right. Bang on. Sorry. We'll stop there, David. Yeah, I'll stop one. Um. So yeah, that's a brief insight to the scout. To the scout. Yeah. Um. But we'll put all the links and everything in the little bit below down there. <laughs> down there. Yeah, um, <coughs> right, <down> it. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> 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 um, yeah. There we go then. Would you, like a, um, scout. would you like a clappage for um, soundage? We didn't do the sound clap, did we? We did, did at it? the beginning. We did at the beginning. We did. We did. I didn't have both cameras running. Uh oh. There's one for us. There we go. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Thank you, Carl, for doing the honours. No but yeah, so, Maverick Scout review. Maverick Scout review. Hope you like it. Yeah. Comment below. Uh, go check out Scoutworks on Facebook. Um, you can get one of these for between 80 and 100 quid. They won't be called Mavericks Out, they'll be called Jan <laughs> <laughs> So if we get done for uh, <laughs> for anything. Any yeah. publicity is good publicity, alright? <laughs> right, so uh, I've I'll been a Dave. I've been Cole. I suppose I've been Arthur, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.
radio show. Yes. Sound clap. Um, you can't even see me. 